Hi everyone, and thanks for continuing to join us for the uh, the flight of Crew One aboard Crew Dragon on its way to the International Space Station. We're here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and we've been monitoring this mission the entire way since crew suit up yesterday, really. Uh, and then the crew lifted off last night at 7:27 p.m. Eastern Time. And coming up very shortly, we're going to get a really special treat. Yeah, we're going to get to see a live broadcast of the crew on board Dragon Resilience. Hopefully, they'll be able to get us a, a small tour of their Resilience vehicle um, and also be able to answer some questions, hopefully, up there. So really excited to see that. I'm really hopeful that they show us not only around Crew Dragon, but they also tell us their experience so far. Uh, we heard earlier that Victor Glover has not stopped smiling since he <laughs> launched. So I would love to hear more about how things are going. Right, and they could see his smile all the way to the International Space Station. <laughs> Probably so. It's a pretty bright smile. <laughs> so really excited for that. Stay tuned. Should be coming up here shortly in a few minutes. We're currently 152 kilometers away from station, Crew Dragon is, uh, and we've already had three of the five major burns take place aboard Crew Dragon. You can see those demonstrated on the screen here. The first happened last night, about 45 minutes uh, after launch. That was the phase burn. And then there was a short phase adjust burn this morning at 6.50 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, after that was the boost burn. That's That was at 8.22 a.m. this morning. And then shortly after, the closed co-elliptic burn at 9.03 a.m. Pacific time. That's the most recent burn we've had, and that put Dragon in a uh, in a uh, roughly 10 kilometer orbit all the way around the Earth. Um, it's called a co elliptic orbit. So, next couple of burns coming up are the transfer burn and the final co elliptic burn. And that will complete the rendezvous phase for us. And those burns are coming up in about an hour from now. We're just standing by waiting for those views from Crew Dragon. We expect them to be using the floater camera, which is uh, not a fixed camera inside Crew Dragon. It gives them a little more flexibility to get out of their seats. Dragon, SpaceX, we see good video. Are you ready for the event? Resilience is ready for the event. Poppy, we're go. Okay, everyone. Uh, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome on board Crew Dragon Resilience. Uh, Victor, Shannon, Suichi, and I are very pleased to welcome you on board as we journey to the International Space Station. Uh, currently, we're going to give you just a little bit of a tour of our home uh, for the next uh, few hours as well. And so starting, I'm sitting here in the cockpit or the bridge, if you will. Um, so this is where we are for launch and for landing, as well as when we get ready for docking. Uh, if you take a quick look here, you can see we've got three primary displays, that touch screen displays that we use to control resilience. And so we can bring up our procedures, we can bring up maps that show where we are uh, over uh, over the Earth, and uh, it's actually uh, quite nice the touch the touch screens that we have here for controlling uh, resilience. We also have some backup uh, controls here, buttons, um, so that if anything should happen to these displays, we still have some of the critical functionality that we can we can accomplish uh, with these these buttons that you see here. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty much it here in the uh, in the cockpit. And so now I'm going to pass you off to Ike. Hello, everyone. Victor here. Baby Yoda and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the uh, hatches. Just about 24 hours ago, we entered resilience through this side hatch, and. To open that hatch again until we are safely uh, splashed down in the ocean and the recovery forces are bringing us uh, aboard the ship and taking us out of the capsule. Uh, so when we dock to station, we will actually leave and go into ISS through the forward hatch, which is uh, up here. And it's based on the body axis of the, the spacecraft, so the nose cone opens forward and, and you can go into station in that direction. And at this time, I'm going to hand you off to, to Soichi.
And Suichi, for awareness, we're not getting audio from you currently. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, uh, good evening and uh, konbanwa. Uh, this is Soichi Noguchi. I'm now talking through the uh, lower tier of the capsule. Many people see the seat, but uh, Dragon Capsule has amazingly vast area of storage. And I'm now uh, talk, uh, sitting over the uh, uh, mid-deck lockers, and uh, this is quite a roomy area. There might be some other creatures kind of slowly coming through you. <laughs> And this is also a very important uh, stuff. Uh, this is the uh, storage area for the EVA equipment for for us when we go up. And this is actually powered payload, and it is now powered, and it's uh, like a refrigerator which holds uh, ice cream. No, 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 uh, science material, right. science material for the ISS. Right. Okay, that's the vast uh, uh, storage area underneath our seat. Now I'm going to turn over to Shannon. All right, thank you, Suichi. Um, as you can see, with the four of us in this uh, Dragon capsule, it's quite a bit more crowded than it is was with just Doug and Bob. And so I thought I would show you some of what it's like to actually live on a spacecraft like this. You'll see that we actually have um, bags stowed all over the place, and this is for a number of reasons. You can pan over here, Soichi, you will see up here, we actually have some bags full of our emergency equipment, and we've got bags that hold our um, supplies, such as the shirts and pants that we are wearing now came up in these bags. Um, you will also see that we've got things st such as food and water stashed around, because every once in a while we like to have a snack. A little bit later on, I'm going to have some trail mix. Um, these are the water bottles that we have to drink out of. You can see it can be a little bit challenging because there is a close out uh, this little tour of uh, dragon resilience here with something uh, very very special actually um, this is something that is a tradition within the uh, within the astronaut office and uh, just to give you a little history on it so when you first are selected as an astronaut and uh, you come in for your basic training you go through about two years of training to become an astronaut and then once that is complete and you graduate Graduate, we give um, the, each uh, each candidate now becomes an astronaut, but they're an unflown astronaut, and they get a silver pin. But once you've passed that 100 kilometer mark, you then get a gold pin. And we have one member of our crew who uh, does not have the appropriate uh, accoutrement for his <laughs> uniform, and so it's worth it to be able to give Victor Glover his gold astronaut pin no, for passing. A hundred kilometers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Crew one. Crew one. Again, uh, thanks everyone for coming out. Uh, this is uh, just an unbelievable experience. Uh, it has been fantastic so far, and we're looking forward. You know, we're about 21 hours into a six-month mission, and so we are we are very excited for us. And uh, and I think I'm just going to close it with all for one. Crew one for all. Bye, everyone. Hopper, thank you so much. And I should thank to the entire Resilience crew for that amazing tour and great event. Congratulations, Victor. Uh, you must be so excited. And this concludes the event. All right, we caught the uh, J. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for uh, letting us give a tour. And you can see Victor Glover has still not stopped smiling, and honestly, <laughs> neither have I watching that tour of Crew Dragon. Yeah, and he got his official gold pin for passing 100 kilometers. That must be amazing. We mentioned earlier today um, that he did know that specific number of the height he had reached. Now he is out in space with the Crew One team. <laughs> you can tell that this crew really have bonded over the last uh, last several months training together. 
Um, and Victor, really proud of his new pen. I'm so excited for him, his first trip to space. Uh, but a really interesting tour of Crew Dragon. Obviously, Commander Mike Hopkins showed us the seats uh, that they launched in, and he mentioned, you know, we've seen some really great views of that, but uh, Soichi showed us what's underneath the seats, yeah. and we got a good glimpse at that storage, and so he mentioned there was a fridge, not for ice cream, <laughs> but it is a fridge that helps us stow uh, science samples and experiments going to and from the International Space Station, and then uh, Shannon Walker showing us some of those snacks. It's relatable <laughs> to me. Yeah, and actually it was really cool to get this kind of a tour because for the most part we've been seeing them in their seats. It almost makes Dragon look so small, but with Suichi underneath where the cargo goes, you can really see how large that cabin really is. Um, and even though there is four people in there, it does, you know, they, they don't have tons of room, but it is pretty spacious enough for them to be able to maneuver around. Yeah, and you could tell Victor was, uh, it looked like standing up, you know, he's in space, so he's not standing up, but <laughs> he uh, he was able to fully stand in the vehicle and still have plenty of room, and I think he's a pretty tall guy. Yeah. So yeah. it does look pretty roomy in there, and uh, as they mentioned, things are still going well on their journey. SpaceX, this is Dragon for Timeline. Dragon SpaceX. AJ, just wanted to confirm with you that uh, we don't have any other planned activities that need the floater camera, and so we might go ahead and start uh, doing some cleanup in here around the cockpit, getting ready for uh, for approach. We concur, and that's a good plan. And Dragon SpaceX, we confirm the camera is off, so safe to step. <laughs> 